so now this is the main important thing so uh, i am going to teach you about the coloring for this project okay i am going to show you how to color each and every object okay with selection with the lines given okay so what i am going to do is uh, just i am going to close this thing and this is the main file which i am going to provide you in this project this is called the layout file layout file is nothing but it is the scene which we see in a cartoon series okay so if something is happening in this room then you will see the background which is which we we are going to create uh, at this moment okay so this is the layout stage and uh, you also have to do this layouts i will uh, create more tutorials to uh, create this layouts the method we used to create this layout okay in this uh, episode we are going to learn how to manually paint the things okay give them a sense of color and everything so i am going to provide this document called the layout and i am going to provide a document which has base colors okay you have two different type of color documents i will give you a document which is having basic colors and the other document the same document which is having shadows and lightings okay in the next level so in the first level i'm going to teach you how to paint the base colors okay if whatever the image i am going to uh, share with you if you are finding the images are having the different shades of red or something like that don't worry about the thing so first manually what you have to do is you have to uh, change each and every color okay in the layout okay so in this layout if you want to change the color of a chair then you have to start with the chair okay go into this folder chair so in this folder you have lean line art okay it may be named as line art a line art or it may be named as, as layer 1 or 2 or something like that okay it's better for you to check the thing so after checking the thing you just lock this thing okay press this thing lock what happens is if you lock this thing you cannot move the object lines you cannot disturb the object lines and you cannot paint over it you cannot paint even paint on over it okay so this will minimize or uh, making you commit mistakes in painting the colors in the line layer okay to avoid this we have to lock the layer before you start the work okay for each and every folder so now we are going to work with the chairs so it's better to off all the layers which are not necessary for you okay so first we need the chair so we are working on the chair so what i am going to do is i am going to zoom in this thing okay and what i am going to do is i am going to take the brush tool okay and pick the color so here we have many colors what color you have to pick that is your question so what you have to do is if i have given or provided you a image which is having this many of colors then you can take the in between color means this is the lightest color and this is the darkest color maybe this is the darkest color in between what is the middle mid range red so you can go for this color okay go for this color so what i am going to do is when i am in the brush tool i can simply press alt to change it to the eye dropper to pick the color so wherever i click this color will go into the foreground color okay after this i will shift to the layout okay here i already created a patch for this thing this will help you to color the basic colors okay so this is the fill this is the pink color which i have used these are called patches patch okay so this patch we name it as fill uh, what it is it is the 
plain color we are going to use i'm going to change this brush to uh, flat brush okay solid brush okay i am going to change this size of the brush so i am going to make it to uh, 5 pixels or 10 pixels or something like that. so this will decrease the size of the brush okay now if i have to uh, keep this right into this fill what i have to do is i can lock the alpha means here this is the green area this is all alpha means you don't have any pixels it's like glass okay the only color is present in this pink color one for this layer if you off this green color then it's a transparency okay you only have color in this chair okay so you can lock this and you can press alt backspace for foreground color so whatever color is there it will be filling inside the layer and it will not fill outside the layer because you may think there is no selection but how can you fill this thing only by like uh, locking the alpha in for this layer you can fill in the pixels itself here we find there is no pixels over here you have to be very careful while uh, coloring you have to check whether the coloring is bleeding out bleeding out of the outline or is it inside the outline if it is very lightly bleeding outside the outline then you don't uh, need to worry uh, i will give you the correction if you find it uh, inappropriate okay so what you are going to do is you are having a brush then fill this here you have to off this alpha otherwise you cannot uh, fill this areas empty areas okay okay so you can fill like this or what you can do is just select outside in the line layer select outside control shift i means you have selected the empty area if you if you press alt backspace in this layer then it will fill all outside color you have to invert the selection then what will happen is this all will invert and the chair will select chair we can select okay so control z redo okay control shift i so after pressing the control shift i you can see that the chair is selected okay check whether there is any wrong in the selection okay so everything is looking fine for me so what i am going to do is now i am going to fill the red color red color okay so in this way you can fill the color if you find anything like this here then what you can do you can deselect control d you select control d and uh, the selection will be gone then you can press e for eraser you can go for eraser decrease the size of it to 1 pixel or 2 pixels then start erasing over here okay start erasing over here okay now what we are going to do is we are we have colored the base of the chair but here you find there is no that much of uh, red color for uh, all over the chair now what we have to do then we have to take the base color of this thing so i am going to take this is the lightest color this is the darkest color the medium color i am going to take this color okay then what i am going to do is i am going to the layout file i am going to select the line magic wand i am going to paint over here i am going to select then go to fill then i will press alt backspace then it will color okay the same task you have to repeat for everything i am going to color this thing as black so i am going to go into there pick the color press alt and pick the color okay pick the color then go to line magic wand select okay then go to fill again 
just fill the color and here you find here is the red color and here is the brown color but we don't have the edge so don't worry about this thing okay and bottom what are the colors so we have this color dark gray here we have the lightest uh, dark gray so i am going to pick this thing i am going to the design of the chair has changed okay don't worry about that thing you can uh, uh, change the colors uh, whatever you like okay so i am going to go to line i am going to select this thing shift select this thing you can add selection this thing you always zoom into this thing okay zoom in select this thing but this is the seat and uh, you need to select only this thing okay don't select uh, just carefully select this thing. okay if it won't select don't worry okay then this one you can select okay now what i am going to do is uh, these selections are not uh, current because you are leaving so much of uh, so much of line space here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to select modify expand expand what it will do is you will increase the selection by 2 pixels or 5 pixels i will say 5 what will happen it's growing more then i will press ctrl z again to go back again select modify expand 2 pixels two pixels okay okay this is good it's not going over the line outside okay now i'm going to select the fill layer and press alt backspace okay next i'm going to check what is the color over here then i'll press press to pick the color and go go here i'll just uh, change this color I think we have to put the same color for this both. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is going to line, select this both, select, modify, expand two pixels. Okay. Then go to fill, put that color. And what is the bottom color? Bottom color is almost the same. But there is some variation so i will pick this color come over here select line magic wand select this thing i have to manually paint this thing ok go to fill uh, select expand 2 pixels just fill ok so the top one I cannot select because it's very narrow so I am going to take the brush very carefully I am going to paint this thing ok decrease the brush size if you want and paint all this thing ok and also check these things you can paint all these things I think this also has to be this greater one. Uh, so I'm going to paint it. Okay. You find red color outside this thing. Don't worry. We can uh, remove that red color one, uh, which is uh, looking odd. Okay. So we first basically paint the chair. Okay so as given in the tpg so here i am going to take this gray color uh, from here and i am going to paint uh, all over this thing okay so i am going to line layer select all these things okay then select modify expand two pixels then go to fill i'm going to fill on this thing okay so bottom uh, this wheels so i am going to select the wheel colors just i am going to color them as this 
uh, what I am going to do is it's very hard because I am going to keep the same color I am going to lock this thing ok lock alpha lock means I cannot paint outside then now I will take the brush and just zoom in the document and just carefully color the thing make the brush size small just carefully color this thing it's very easy uh, I am just showing it very slowly but if you get habituated you cannot fi you can finish this task very easily uh, because this is the big uh, scene uh, you may take time but later on uh, all the scenes are going to be same like this one so there is no much work left for you to do repeatedly do the same thing the main piece is if you finish uh, then maximum of the work is finished so you should uh, take care how to finish the thing so here what you have finished is a base color chair so this is how we paint each and every object ok so in next lesson I am going to show how to paint the other object ok so it will be fast and easy ok thank you